In the sterile environment of Mr. Narcy's aggressively minimalist real estate office, where even the air seemed to fear being excessive, Paul was faced with indifference that could rival a cat being told it's adorable. Paul, Mr. Narcy began, monotone cutting through the room. Our lead generation performance appears to have taken inspiration from my last house plant. Do you remember it? Paul recalled the wilted monstrosity on Mr. Narcy's windowsill. The house plant that looked more like modern art than botany? That's the one. That now. Much like our leads. Well, I mentioned A-B testing a while ago. I believe it was around the same time people believed juice cleansers would solve all of life's problems. Mr. Narcy's eyebrows, arcing to an impressive altitude, remarked, ah, juice cleansers. The solution to problems no one really had. As a well-rounded narcissist, he added, however, it was of course me that mentioned A-B testing back then, but never mind, go on. Paul swearing to himself to record all their conversations in the future just to prove Mr. Narcy wrong, and though tempted to make PowerPoint just to watch Mr. Narcy's eyes glaze over further resisted. Instead, back in his tiny, tiny little office, he began a deep dive into A-B testing real estate landing pages. After several cat videos, his exploration led him to ChatGPT. It had a promise, not of world peace or solving hunger but of extrapolating results from a week's data as though it were six months. A sort of time travel if time travel were exclusively for digital marketers. So he designed two real estate landing pages. One had an image of a home that screamed upper middle class with two and a half kids. The other featured a counter that compared a home sale to the time it takes to reheat coffee in a microwave because you forgot about it. Again. A week later, armed with what can only be described as data, Paul returned to ChatGPT, which despite being a program, seemed to show the same level of enthusiasm Paul felt when thinking about low-fat ice cream. But what was this data? Paul used a series of prompts to help ChatGPT forecast future potential winner landing page versions. So first he created a prompt that analyzed the first two real estate landing page versions he created for the A-B test. He used this simple and short prompt with the Google Chrome extension Harper AI. Analyze regarding conversion potential and sales copy. After a week he also knew which of the two real estate landing page versions was the first winner. Now with the analysis of of the first two versions of the landing pages and the first test results, he could go back to ChatGPT with another prompt. He copied the results ChatGPT and Harper AI gave him first for the two landing pages, so ChatGPT had the right context information and data. Then he opened a new chat in his ChatGPT application, this time not Harper AI. And this was the prompt. The following is the result of analyzing two landing pages. Here he put analysis results from landing page A, another Analysis results from landing page B. Based on landing page X being the winner of the first test and considering the analysis of the two landing pages above regarding conversion potential and sales copy, give me 20 landing page ideas that have high odds of beating the winner of this A-B test in terms of conversions. After a brief processing time, ChatGPT responded with 20 ideas, almost all somewhat involving coffee maker. Paul realizing he'd received advice from an entity that doesn't even drink coffee, took it in stride. Nevertheless, he could use one of the 20 ideas for the following A-B test iteration that would run another month against the winner of the last iteration. With the charisma of damp cardboard, the new landing page version led to an increase in leads and beat the winner of the last iteration. Not the kind of win that would lead to fireworks or popping champagne, but maybe a modest nod of approval over a lukewarm cup of tea. However, getting a nod of approval from Mr. Narcy was as likely as getting hit by a meteorite during a leap year. Mr. Narcy surrounded by the same sterile atmosphere that Paul was convinced was slowly leaching the color out of everything remarked. Paul, our leads have improved. It's the kind of improvement that reminds me of when I switch from 2% to 1% milk. Barely noticeable but apparently better for my health. Paul resisting the urge to question the dairy choices replied, indeed as the ancient saying goes, sometimes it's the almost imperceptible changes that make an almost imperceptible difference. Mr. Narcy leaned back 
his chair making a noise that sounded suspiciously like a groan. At this rate, we might even consider something truly radical like interactive graphics. Paul nodded, his enthusiasm rivaling a sloth on a lazy Sunday. Yeah, let's not get too wild, sir but I consider it for our next barely noticeable improvement. And so in the world of real estate lead generation, life went on with the same level of excitement as watching paint dry, but with the satisfaction that the paint was at least of better quality.